Londoners are expressing their sadness and well wishes after Buckingham Palace announced that King Charles was diagnosed with cancer. Greg Palcott has more from London. King Charles III's cancer diagnosis dominating the front pages of British newspapers on Tuesday. The Sun's headline quoting the King, I have cancer. The UK head of state has been diagnosed with some form of cancer. UK Prime Minister Sunak confirming initial reports that the cancer was caught early. Friends of the King have been quoted saying he and his doctors are very positive. The cancer was found when he was being treated for another condition in enlarged prostate. On Monday, he had his first outpatient treatment, then returned to his residence, Clarence House, next to Buckingham Palace. He's been keeping busy with royal paperwork and is seeing some visitors. This is it's just such a shock, isn't it? Uh, it's only this, this, what, nine months ago since the coronation. It's no time. The royal family is gathering around Prince Harry, putting ill feelings aside, flying in from California and meeting with his father. The one silver lining that may come out of this whole thing is that Harry is able to reconcile at least some of his relationship with his father. Queen Camilla by the monarch's side and standing in for public duties, as well as Prince William, who is also tending to his wife, Princess Kate, recovering from abdominal surgery. I feel really sorry for William at the minute because he must be really going through it. Messages have poured in from leaders around the world. President Biden posting in part, navigating a cancer diagnosis takes hope and absolute courage. The king and queen have now left London for their country home. He says he looks forward to returning to full public duties as soon as possible. In London, Greg Palcott, Fox News.